Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use get transaction data action, which is a part of walk view. Let me show you here. Let me take one action stage. Let me link this with the start and link with and stage. Let me take one and stage here. And I'm going to show you how to use that. So double click on that and select walk huge select get transaction data so get transaction data is used to get transactions count from the specific queue so here in the inputs whatever queue names will will enter here that will be excluded from this report so let's say we have two queues available so if you want to get the count all the trans uh, transactions from one queue that is centrix data solutions so do one thing you can enter here you can enter here q1 so what will happen this q1 will be excluded from that that report from that count so it will just take from centrix data solutions so it will exclude q names whatever you will enter here so the collection of q names will be excluded from here so do not put anything because we are going to take all now here we can enter start and end and date time here in the input do you want a uh, item created so yes, we want all these items, copy. We want logged items also. We want referral, completions, automatic retry, deletion, forced retries, yes. So take everything and put the date like 10 to 22. So from this date, we, we need all this data. Now go to output and it will give you which queue name, which queue included to get the transition data. So you can create a collection which will give you the co collection of uh, queues now it will give you a count of created items like how many items uh, we have for created how many like new items pending like that how many items which is logged so it will so here you'll just get a count you can see here it will give you that just count uh, so this is numbers logged counts created count here deferred count completed count all these things you can get total count of the items so this is used for the getting the transition data now click ok now we have three to four data items that we are going to use now right click set next stage and now just run that okay so here we are getting error that is the currently installed license doesn't support queue transitions there is might be some issue or there is some uh, something like that is not suggested by blueprint like which type of license we need to use here because we have uh, I think two types of license one that is education license that we take as a trial trial and like we can take as a learning license second we have enterprise license I have used in both the license and I always get this type of issue so I'm not sure like how to fix that so if you know that how to fix that so please let me know in the video comment so that I can try to work on that or I can try to fix this issue in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks. If you want to learn UiPath RPA, then you can visit my YouTube channel youtube.com slash UiPath RPA. If you want to learn Blue Prism from Udemy, so I have created one course for Blue Prism RPA complete course on Udemy. So you can go there and you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there. I will enter the, the referral code and the link in the video description. You can go through that. I hope you like that one. Thank you so much for watching this video.